Good afternoon, and you could be seated. <laughs> A huge welcome, dear grade 12s, parents, families, friends, and staff of King's Christian Collegiate. It is wonderful to be together for this graduation ceremony. The chance to welcome our loved ones to share in this day feels extra special. The time of reflection, celebration, and energy in the air feels beyond sweet. For Mrs. Brody and her terrific team of helpers who have planned graduation, there has been much anticipation. Because grade 12, we do not take it for granted that you can each be seen and congratulated today. And you can be immersed in this room full of gratitude, love, and pride directed right at you. We are so happy that you can experience the significant moment of crossing the stage and receiving your diploma as the culmination of your high school learning experience. In recent school-wide gatherings, these grade 12s have injected contagious enthusiasm by being the most positive, the proudest, and especially at the student council, Jim Riot, certainly the loudest cheering group of grade 12s that I've ever, I can ever recall. On this day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. As a way to begin expressing today's joy, will you please join me in an opening round of celebratory applause for this outstanding class. Thanks be to God for each one of you students, each wonderfully, uniquely created, and for this vibrant class that you have formed, full of friendships, character, accomplishment, humanity, complexity, and growth. We are very pleased that the chair of the King's Christian Collegiate Board of Directors, Mrs. Juliet Lamb, has prepared some astute and kind words for us. While she regrets not being here, I trust we will all be impacted by her thoughtfulness. Dear class of 2022, my name is Juliet Lamb and I am bringing you heartfelt greetings from the Board of Directors. Congratulations on achieving this milestone. These last two years have been a juggling act for you, for your teachers and for your parents, but you stuck with it and you have reached an important moment in your life. You have shown resilience, a life skill that will carry you through other challenges surely to come. In these past two years, you have been challenged not only with the fallout of a pandemic, but also with uncertainty on the international stage and uncertainty spread by social media. Moving forward, be critical and verify what comes your way, but above all, trust in God's goodness. God gave all of you talents to discover, to unlock and to hone. Being your best selves, using those talents and working in harmony with your fellow students is what God asks of you and is your gift to God and to mankind. Thank you parents and guardians for entrusting King's Christian Collegiate with the Christ-centered education of your child. We hope that King's will stay a cherished memory in your child's and family's minds. Our wish for your graduates is that they will continue to flourish and enter the next stage in their life with confidence. We hope that they have learned how to live in favor with God and man and that this vision will guide them into their next life chapter. Faculty, staff and administration, congratulations with this class of 2022. Your deep caring, your exemplary instruction 
and your perseverance during this pandemic have proven to be a valuable part of our graduates' lives. Thank you. I would like to leave you with a few quotes that I have found poignant in my own life and encouraging in a challenging world. The quotes are from the Book of Joy, a conversation between the Dalai Lama and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. I quote, much of our unhappiness originates within our own mind and heart. It is learning to process the destructive emotions and to develop positive ones that will give you resilience. The former can cause us much mental anguish. The latter causes us true joyfulness. And last but not least, this quote is to the graduates in particular. You are made for perfection, but you're not yet perfect. You are a masterpiece in the making. Thank you. Well, I can think of no better group to be with today. I've heard from many staff members what a great class you have been. In the last weeks of school, you showed students in other grades how to finish the year well. You have modeled perseverance and gratitude. Thank you. So here you are, graduating from high school. I was looking at the yearbook and I noticed that beside your graduate picture, was a picture of your grade nine self. If you could go back to your grade nine self, what wise words of advice would you give yourself? If you knew back then what you know now, what would you say to 14-year-old Lauren or 14-year-old Ryan? When I was about 10 years old, around 1973, you do the math on my age, the year 2000 was a big deal. The year 2000 would mark not just the passing of a century, but of a millennium. And yes, I know you weren't even born in the year 2000, but to me it was a big deal. And my 10-year-old self thought, wow, when we get to the year 2000, I will be 37. It seemed like such a long time away, and yet also such a short time away. What would life be like? What would I be married? Would I have kids? What would I be doing? Who would I be? What best advice could my 37-year-old self tell my 10-year-old self about the years to come? And I remember talking to my mother, and she recalled thinking the same thing as a child, but a little differently. Her goal was to make it alive to the year 2000. When she was young, she was born in 1928, Getting to the age of 72 was a big deal. She lived through a war, through immigrating to a new country, and through raising seven children. She just wanted to make it to the year 2000 alive, and she did. I wonder what advice her 72-year-old self would give her 10-year-old self. Well, what about you? What do you think of your life 27 years from now? the year 2049. Can you imagine that? Or 10 years from now, or five. And I don't mean how the world might change or what new technology there will be. It's more than that. Who will you be? What goals do you have? What dreams? What advice would your 40-year-old self give to your today self? I'll make it easier. If you can imagine even yourself five years from now and the goals you have, what advice would your future self give to your today self? Who will you be? And that can be a hard question. In fact, uh, there's so much you don't know about the future. In fact, you can have many plans, hopes, and dreams, but the future is still unclear. Thinking too much about the future can be a distraction that leads to anxiety and worry. We are tempted to think that we can control the future when the truth is we can't. Thinking about the future can both inspire us 
and overwhelm us. Actually, who you will be is really quite a simple question. Who you will be is who you are now. The fundamental, most basic core of who you will be is who you are right now. Ask your parents. You have changed over the years. You have grown and developed. You have matured. You have learned from mistakes. But the core of who you are has not changed over the years. And the core of who you are will not change in the years to come. Who am I or who will I be is such a basic human question. I'm reading a book by Viola Davis. She is a renowned award-winning actress in such movies as The Help and Fences. She has an amazing story of resilience. She grew up in extreme poverty and abuse in a home where she learned to hate herself. Near the beginning of the book, she says she had to find her life by embracing who God made her to be. Her story, as captured in the book, was learning to love and accept herself for who she was, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hear that again. She had to discover and embrace who God made her to be. I like that. Can you embrace more fully each day who God made you to be? Can you love and accept yourself with the same unconditional love that God has for you? You know, I remember struggling with the words my father said at every prayer around the dinner table. He prayed, forgive us our sins, Lord, not because we are worthy, but because your son died for us. And I struggled because I focused on the idea, we are not worthy. The lie inside my head was, I am not worthy. There is nothing I deserve. I am nothing. Have you ever had those thoughts in your mind? In my mind, those words, I am not worthy, got twisted into a lie. Now, the ironic truth is that there is nothing I deserve. What did I or you do to deserve life? I did not earn my life, but that doesn't mean that I am nothing. The truth is that my very life is a gift, something to be grateful for. Every breath is a gift. Everything I am or have is an opportunity for gratitude. See, I believe the same is true for you. There is nothing any of us deserves, and there is everything to be thankful for. Just consider the idea that if we believe that anything we have or are is deserved, then there is no room for gratitude. And just consider how easy it is in life to believe that any of us are nothing. Then there too, there is no room for gratitude. Deserving has nothing to do with life. Deserving can be twisted into lies. The truth. The truth is that there is nothing any of us deserves, so we can be thankful for the very air we breathe. And the truth is that each of us matters. We are beautiful creations, and that is worth gratitude. So here you sit on graduation day. You are looking ahead to the rest of your lives. What do you want? What do you think your future self would tell your present self if she or he could? What advice would you give yourself today as you look ahead to the next five, 10, or 30 years? Well, let me stand in as your future self to share a few words of advice. Work hard. Not because you think you need to earn something and not to prove you are worthy. Work hard to share the best of who you are because work is joy. Laugh and cry with friends. Love people. Miss no opportunity to give to others. And don't love people just to earn their love in return. Cherish your regrets. Learn 
from your mistakes. Forgive and be forgiven. Be grateful for those chances to learn and to forgive. Love yourself. Accept yourself. There's nothing that you can do to deserve God's love, and there's nothing you can do to lose God's love. His love is unconditional. No strings attached. You are beautifully created, and you are human, prone to making mistakes and blowing it time and time again. Either way, you are loved. And be grateful. It is easy not to be. Be grateful for every breath of life. Be grateful for every morning. Give thanks for all of who you are, where you are, and what you have, because all of it is undeserved. All of it is a gift. So, work hard. Laugh and cry. Cherish the ups and downs of life. Love. Be grateful. But I can make this advice even simpler. Remember one thing. Embrace who God made you to be. Hear this. Embrace who God made you to be. On the last Friday of class, the student council served breakfast to staff as an expression of gratitude. They gave thank you cards with a special message to each staff person. Now, I don't know who wrote in mine, but the person shared a message from Mary Ann Williamson from her book, A Return to Love. I quote, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful, beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, or fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were all meant to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is in everyone. Who are you? Who will you be? It is a fundamental human question. You are a child of God, fearfully and wonderfully made. You are beautiful. You have earned it. Oh, sorry, you have not earned it. You do not deserve it. And that is what is so special. You are a gift. You are loved. So be fearless in your love. Be wonderful. Take care of yourself and others. Reject the lies that tell you that you have to prove you are loved by how you look, by what you have, and by what you accomplish. Instead, receive God's unconditional love where there is nothing to prove and nothing to deserve. And may God's love be a life-giving fire in your soul. And may he, our God, bless you and keep you for five years, for 25 years, and for many years to come. And embrace and enjoy this special day. Today we celebrate. This graduation represents so much for you, our graduates, not only for what you've accomplished in these last four years, but for who you are and who you are becoming. So what will you see and learn about our graduates? More than simply seeing them receive a diploma, you will get a glimpse into their high school story. We invite you to celebrate several student achievements that you will notice both in your program and as the graduates cross the stage. These awards include Ontario Scholars, the Principal's Silver, Gold, and Platinum Awards, Academic Excellence Awards, the CIBC Citizenship Awards, a Male and Female Athletic Award, the Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Pin, French Certificate for four years of French Language Studies. We also have several awards that have been generously donated by Friends of Kings, encouraging a tradition of excellence and godly character. Three awards for the arts. The Erica Lamb Memorial Visual Art Award, generously donated by the Lamb family. The Psalm 150 Music Award, donated by Unity Music Ministries, and the Theatre Arts Award. From King's alum, Kirk Fournier. 
the Fournier Awards for Business Excellence. With gratitude to the Van Bylen family, the Van Bylen Endeavor Award. With thanks to the Collins family, the Collins Award for Science Excellence. The Brennickmeyer Award for Industry, generously donated by the Brennickmeyer family. The Grasby Awards for Leadership Impact and Cultural Imprint, which are donated by Grasby and Associates. With thanks to the Domain family, the Domain Award for Healthy Leadership. With gratitude to the McIsaac family, the Lucas McIsaac Memorial Award for Heart. And now, as we invite each graduate to cross the stage, please give an enthusiastic welcome to our graduating class. We are honored to now call the graduates to the stage to receive their diplomas. Please note that some of our students were unable to attend this ceremony and we congratulate them on their accomplishment. Let's begin with our first graduate of 2022. <laughs> Alexander Aruda. Alexander, you have shown yourself to be supportive, devoted, focused, and reliable. We know you will continue to demonstrate these qualities at McMaster University, where you will study engineering. Cameron Arshia. Cameron, your humility, discipline, and selflessness have been a blessing to your fellow students and teachers. We are confident that these qualities will enrich others at the University of Toronto as you study the humanities. Mackay Arthur. Mackay, during your time at King's, you stood out as a compassionate, inclusive, thoughtful, and empathetic person. We can only imagine the many lives you will impact as you move on to study social work at Toronto Metropolitan University. David Assad. David, we are thankful for your commitment, reliability, leadership, and humor. We are delighted to know that you will be sharing these characteristics in the medical science program at Western University. Jessica Assad. Jessica, thank you for your perseverance, discipline, kindness, and joy. We are sure that these qualities will be a blessing to those you meet at the University of Waterloo, where you will study health sciences. Jabran Ash. Jabran, we will remember your dedication, thoughtfulness, and humor. We hope you will share these characteristics with others at McMaster University, where you will study chemical and physical sciences. Michael A. Track. Michael, you are a creative, curious, caring, and friendly student. We hope your curiosity will serve you well in the engineering program at the University of Guelph. Lauren O. Oh. Lauren, you stood out as a steadfast, dedicated, and kind person. These traits will certainly be an asset in the commerce program at Queen's University. Matthew Sheeney Babu Thurapeyapa. Matthew Sheeney, we are thankful for your gentleness, considerate nature, and dependability. We are delighted to know you will share these characteristics in the Medical Sciences Program at Western University. Paige Bain. Paige, you are a reflective, a keen observer, and an advocate for others. We are thrilled for you to begin your next adventure at Queen's University at the Bader International Castle in England, where you will study health science. Pero Ban. Pero, you presented yourself as a determined, strong, engaged, and witty student. 
These qualities will surely help you as you study financial mathematics at Wilfrid Laurier University. Karma Basha. Karma, you have been described as a creative, inventive, and motivated student. The University of Ottawa will be an excellent place to demonstrate these qualities in the criminology program. Noah Best. Noah, you reflected Christ's example as an empathetic, warm, devoted, and justice-seeking individual. We pray you will further hone these attributes at Redeemer University in your biblical theology and history program. Ryan Bloomer. Ryan, thank you for the determination, creativity, trustworthiness, and responsibility you displayed at King's. We are sure these traits will lead you to excellence in the, in, in the engineering program at Queen's University. Angela Boyt. Angela, we will remember your kindness, dedication, enthusiasm, and sensibility. The nursing program at Queen's University will be fortunate to have you. Alexandria Braithwaite. Alexandria, you displayed persistence, drive, commitment, and dedication in both athletics and your studies. We wish you well as you travel to Anderson University in South Carolina to play tennis and study biochemistry. Oliver Brennick-Meyer. Oliver, thank you for being generous, passionate, and a visionary during your time at King's. We are certain that those you meet in the Management and Organizational Studies program at Western University will appreciate your positive presence. Benjamin Brown. Benjamin, you stood out for being joyful, enthusiastic, and a committed leader at King's. These attributes will be an asset in the concurrent education program at Queen's University. Connor Brown. Connor, your athleticism and your personable and joyful nature were notable during your time at King's. We hope you continue displaying these qualities in the Life Science Program at McMaster University. Evan Burke. Evan, you have made an impact on others with your positive, genuine, fun-loving, and humble character. We know you will continue to be a blessing at Trent University in the Arts and Science Program. Freya Burwood. Freya, you are thoughtful, perceptive, attentive, and kind to others. These admirable qualities will be helpful as you pursue child and youth studies at Brock University. Will Chapman. Will, we will remember your dedication, curiosity, and witty personality. These qualities will help you thrive at Wilfrid Laurier University in the computer science program. Case Chathur. Case, you are valued for being cheerful, thoughtful, energetic, and a dedicated student. These personality traits will be helpful in the computing program at Queen's University. Rebecca Coleman. Rebecca, you are known to be a sincere, creative, and resourceful person who cares for others. You are taking your passion for the world around you to St. Mary's University for environmental studies. Evan Constantopoulos. Evan, you have shared your joyful, gentle, kind and respectful personality with students and teachers alike. These characteristics will be advantageous as you study concurrent education at Brock University. Lara Cook. 
Lara, you are a dedicated, positive, resilient, and disciplined student who strives for excellence. We cheer you on as you travel to Colgate University to play basketball and study English literature. Keaton Cottom. Keaton, you are known as an energetic, considerate, and cheerful student. We wish you much success as you take the next year to hone your baseball skills before attending a university in the U.S. Julia Copeland. Julia, thank you for your generous, hardworking, and encouraging personality that uplifted others. Your outgoing nature will serve you well in the real estate management program at Toronto Metropolitan University. Rachel Crawford. Rachel, we will remember your dedication, passion for knowledge, and your perceptive nature as a student at King's. We wish you much happiness as you consider your next steps. Caprice Daniels. Caprice, you stood out for your artistic, innovative, and creative gifts. We know these will be put to good use in the communication, culture, information, and technology program at the University of Toronto. Nicholas Daou. Nicholas, we are thankful you were friendly, humble, loyal, and reliable while a student at King's. The Management and Organizational Studies program at Western University is fortunate to have you. Tyler Davis. Tyler, <laughs> you are known to be capable, persistent, and passionate. These skills will serve you well at Algonquin College in the Aviation Management program. Sophia De Jesus. Sophia, we are grateful for your intuitive, understanding, intelligent, and creative spirit. We hope you will continue to shine at Queen's University where you will study science. Isabella Demita. Isabella, you have made an impact on others with your spirited, artistic, encouraging, and enthusiastic presence. You will continue to make an impact at the Berkeley College of Music, where you will pursue music therapy and performance. Robert DeMarco. Robert, you are thoughtful, expressive, and persevering in your years at King's. We wish you continued success in the art and design program at George Brown College. Marcus Diaz. Marcus, you are described as a thoughtful, insightful, and steady presence at King's. These traits will be an asset in the policing and psychology program at Wilfrid Laurier University. Sasha Durek. Sasha, you demonstrated a friendly, capable, and empathetic attitude while at King's. We are pleased you will bring these characteristics to the communication program at Wilfrid Laurier University. Dominique Ennis McIntyre. Dominique, you have made an impact with your competitive, supportive, and passionate personality. We know you will continue to shine at Rice University playing basketball and studying sport management. Tony Fabunmi. Tony, you have shown yourself to be an insightful, intelligent, and humble student. We know you will nurture these gifts in the communication, culture, information, and technology program at the University of Toronto. Ella Farley. Ella, King's is a better place because of your enthusiasm, thoughtfulness, and genuine and perceptive attitude. We wish you well as you travel to Monmouth University to play basketball and study psychology.
Matthew Ferguson. Matthew. Matthew, we are grateful for your respectful, responsible, hardworking, and dependable character. These, these traits will serve you well at McMaster University, where you will study mathematics and statistics. Aiden Flick. Aiden, you are best known as a personable, hardworking, and easygoing student. This dedication will help you transition to Brock University to study kinesiology. Michaela Fournier. Michaela, you have shown yourself to be warm, poised, studious, and encouraging. Your kind nature will be an asset to the health science program at Western University. Nicolette Fox Della Vadova. Nicolette, you are a driven, disciplined, and focused student whose caring personality is a blessing. We know you will take those skills to be a force in the business program at McMaster University. John Froome. John, your, your personality is described as dynamic, friendly, and upbeat. We are confident these characteristics will help you thrive as you travel to the University of Antigua to study pre-med. Claire Garrett. Claire, you are a thoughtful, determined, inquisitive, and a good friend. We can't wait to see how you grow in the culture and technology studies program at the University of Guelph. Carol Gurgis. Carol, your perceptive, considerate, and insightful personality will certainly help you in the psychology, neuroscience, and behavior program at McMaster University. Lucas Gonzalez. Lucas, you have shared your hospitable, genuine, and pragmatic approach to being a student at King's. These will certainly help you in your studies at the University of Toronto and Mississauga in life science. Linda Gong. Linda, you made an impact as a driven, hardworking, observant, and kind student. We wish you well as you head to the University of British Columbia to study commerce. Michael Gorab. Michael, you have shown yourself to be inclusive, steady, reliable, and loyal to others. We wish you much success as you study economics at Wilfrid Laurier University. Nicole Greenland. Nicole, you made a difference at King's with your warm, earnest, friendly, and endearing personality. We trust these characteristics will bless others in the Cognitive Science Program at Carleton University. Charmaine Griffiths. Charmaine, your determination, perseverance, and authentic nature helped you to finish well this year. We wish you well as you take time to work before pursuing a program in psychology. Lucas Guarini. Lucas, students and staff value your insightful, sincere, calm, and faithful presence. We are confident these traits will impact others in the Business Administration Program at Wilfrid Laurier University. Sophia Habashi. <laughs> Sophia, you shone as a vibrant, joyful, enthusiastic, and sincere student. Your future students will be fortunate to have you after you study concurrent education at Queen's University. Andrew Hanna. Andrew, we are grateful for your determination and your thoughtful and respectful attitude. We wish you well as you go to Toronto Metropolitan University to study mechanical engineering. Amy Harrison. 
Amy, your motivation and drive for excellence allowed you to lead others well. We can only imagine the many lives you will impact in the medical sciences program at Western University. Emma Hatcher. Emma, students and staff at King's valued, valued your thoughtful, genuine, caring, and sincere attitude. We are certain that those you meet at McGill University in the political science program will appreciate your positive presence. Samantha Hawkins. Samantha, your helpfulness, adaptability, and cheerful disposition were appreciated. These traits will surely help you fit in well at McMaster University, where you will study business. Nathan Horebicek. Nathan, thank you for your dedication, your willingness to help, and your hopeful attitude while at King's. You will surely seek to do the same at Queen's University, where you will study engineering. Evan Hughes. Evan, others remarked on how you are sincere, humble, grounded, and honest in your interactions. We wish you well in the sport and event management program at the University of Guelph. Ama Iguilo. <laughs> Ama, you stood out as a bright, gracious, and intelligent leader who led others well. We hope you will continue to shine in the health science program at Western University. Lucas Illich. Lucas, you reflected Christ's example with your wisdom, maturity, genuineness, and as a servant leader. We are delighted that you will share these characteristics at McMaster University in the Health Science Program. Amelia Ilner. Em Amelia, your creativity, insight, and wisdom stood out during your years at King's. We wish you well as you go to McGill University to study the arts. Noah Isaacs. Noah, students and staff valued your imagination, authenticity, confidence, and ability to be an original thinker. <laughs> These traits will definitely help you in the journalism program at the University of Toronto, Scarborough. Lois Johnstone. Lois, thank you for being a good listener, open-minded, inquisitive, and loyal friend. The ability to ask good questions will be helpful in the psychology program at the University of Toronto. Kaylee Joseph Bernard. Kaylee, you stood out as hardworking, driven, resourceful, and fun. We know these traits will be helpful as you travel to Hofstra University to play basketball and study criminology. Matilde King. Matilde, your warmth, thoughtfulness, and bright personality were appreciated by both staff and students. We know you will continue to shine at Queen's University, where you will study life science and biochemistry. Matthew King. Matthew, we are pleased that you shared your enthusiastic, confident, and engaging demeanor with us. We wish you well as you head to Dalhousie University to study business management. Olivia Kipp. <laughs> Olivia, you Sean is a gifted, considerate, motivated, and reliable student. We know that Queen's University will be all the better to have you there studying health science. Daniel Coe. Daniel, we are thankful that you have been thoughtful, earnest, and kind in your daily interactions. 
We look forward to seeing how these traits will touch others as you enter the Commerce Program at the University of Toronto, Mississauga. Zach Kulovasilopoulos. Zach, you have shown yourself to be dependable, confident, and authentic while at King's. We hope you will continue to flourish at the University of Guelph in the Management, Economics, and Finance program. Joshua Kudo. Joshua, you stood out as a talented, curious, friendly, and capable student. Queen's University is fortunate to have you join their commerce program. Sweetach Kurulishan. Sweetach, you brought a calm, introspective, and humorous demeanor to your interactions at King's. We wish you well in the computer science and physics program at Trent University. Crystal Kwok. Crystal, you shone as a confident, capable, positive, and creative student. We know that you will continue to thrive in the integrated biomedical engineering and health science program at McMaster University. Christopher Lapis. Christopher, you are focused, committed, creative, and reliable. We are certain these traits will propel you to success in the business program at McMaster University. Jenny Lee. Jenny, we have seen your inquisitive, thoughtful, and perceptive nature, and know these will be a huge benefit in the industrial design program at Sheridan College. Thomas Lisi. Thomas, you are known to be gentle, friendly, and thoughtful. We hope you continue to share these gifts in the physics and astronaut astronomy program at York University. Andy Liu. <laughs> Andy, we are thankful for your positive, gentle, and hopeful character. <laughs> we wish you much success in the mathematics program at the University of Waterloo. Aaron Lowe. Aaron, you have stood out as a talented, clever, and driven student. Your hard work will be an asset to the engineering program at McMaster University. Jacob Mack. Jacob, you made an impact by being inclusive, dependable, optimistic, and kind. We pray you continue to show these traits at Wilfrid Laurier University in the Business Administration Program. Peter Mangiulardi. Peter, you are diligent, analytical, calm, and persistent, and these characteristics will serve you well in the Software Engineering Program at the University of Guelph. Evan Mao. Evan, you shared your gentle nature, thoughtfulness, and intelligence with others. We hope these will encourage others in the computing program at Queen's University. Amy Marin. Amy, you're, <laughs> Amy, you are treasured for being inclusive, caring, insightful, and imaginative. After participating in an internship in the fashion industry in New York next year, we can't wait to see how you thrive in a fashion business management program. Gabby Masenji. Gabby, King's is a better place because of your encouraging, caring, and creative personality. Nice father-daughter moment. <laughs> we, 
we know you, you will continue to bless others in the Recreational Therapy and Fine Art Program at the University of Waterloo. Ariana Mastro Leonardo. Ariana, you made a difference at King's as a student of remarkable vision, diligence, and joy. We pray you continue to share those attributes at Western University in the Medical Sciences Program. Elijah Matthew. Elijah, you have shown yourself to be dedicated, inquisitive, and friendly. We are looking forward to seeing how you use these skills in the kinesiology and physical education program at the University of Toronto. Kira Mathias. Kira, you made a difference by being considerate, eloquent, passionate, and resilient. The life science program at the University of Toronto is blessed to have you. Alex Mattis. Alex, thank you for being kind, enthusiastic, optimistic, and resourceful while at King's. Your motivation will continue to drive you as you enter the Management and Organizational Studies program at Western University. Emma Mawad. Emma, your intelligence, conviction, dedication, and reliability were assets for you as a student. These traits will be helpful in the integrated biomedical engineering and health science program at McMaster University. Connor McCourt. Connor, people appreciated your humor, intelligence, and cooperative nature. We wish you much success in the Commerce Program at Queen's University. Brianna McLeod. Brianna, your outgoing, genuine, and friendly demeanor were notable. We are excited to see how these traits will impact others at the University of Colorado, where you will play basketball and take exploratory studies. Michaela Mendoza. Michaela, Kings is grateful for your sincere, affable, genuine, and caring personality. We are certain those you meet in the Human Kinetics Program at the University of Guelph will appreciate your positive presence. Charles Mary. Charles. You shared your kind, enthusiastic, and genuine personality with students and staff. We hope you continue to impact others in the Management and Organizational Studies program at Western University. Sophia Mukhtari. <laughs> Sophia, you made a difference at King's by being authentic, wise, bold, enthusiastic, and optimistic. We can only imagine the many lives you will impact as you move on to study engineering at McMaster University. Jack Montalbano Graf. Jack, you are hardworking, entrepreneurial, and creative. We are sure you will continue to learn how to make your businesses flourish in the management program at Dalhousie University. Victoria Morera. Victoria, you were appreciated for being compassionate, persistent, and hardworking. We look forward to seeing how you bring your energy to the Commerce Management Program at the University of Ottawa. Faisal Mugatash. Faisal, your determination, discipline, and inquisitive mind were noticed. We believe the medical science program at Western University will be a place where you can continue to learn and grow. Demelis Natarino. Demelis, we appreciate your authenticity, thoughtfulness, and encouragement to others. We wish you all the best as you consider your next steps. Leah Norman. 
Leah, you showed yourself to be determined, organized, careful, and fun. These traits will serve you well in the Management and Organizational Studies program at Western University. Andrew Novak. Andrew, you made an impact by being approachable, thoughtful, personable, truth-seeking, and wise. We pray a blessing on you as you travel to Poznan University uh, in medical science in Poland to study dentistry. Temi Okatori. Temi, we noticed your kind, supportive, servant-hearted, and compassionate personality. We are delighted to know that you will be sharing these characteristics in the neuroscience program at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. David Olenichuk. David, we are thankful that you are a hardworking, committed, passionate, and intelligent student. These characteristics will surely help you in the engineering program at McMaster University. Ire Oloketuyi. Ire, you are valued for being approachable, compassionate, gentle, and a great listener. We are certain you will continue to bless others at, universe, at Toronto Metropolitan University in the Creative Industries Program. Vanessa Ugrinov. <laughs> Vanessa, you stood out for being insightful, dependable, determined, and loyal. People you meet in the Life Science Program at the University of Toronto will certainly appreciate your positive presence. Jamie Pacheco. Jamie, thank you for sharing your artistic, passionate, and creative gifts with us. We can't wait to see how you continue to grow in your artistry in the arts program at the University of Guelph. Aiden Parvinci. Aiden, you made a difference at King's by being charismatic, free-spirited, energetic, and enthusiastic. We encourage you to take that same energy and impact others in the life science program at McMaster University. Karina Patel. Karina, students and staff appreciated your diligent, respectful, and easygoing manner. We believe you will continue to share these traits with others in the Life Science Program at the University of Toronto, Mississauga. Alicia Patel. Alicia, we will remember your friendly, positive, kind-hearted, and thoughtful personality. These traits will serve you well in your future as a nursing student at Queen's University. Dylan Patel. Dylan, your dynamic, passionate, authentic, and brave characteristics were felt by those around you. We hope you continue to shine at McGill University where you will study biomed and life sciences. Serena Patel. Ser Serena, you are valued for being wise, compassionate, driven, and sincere. We are confident you will continue to grow at McGill University, where you will study commerce. Madeline Paul. Madeline, you stood out for being selfless, dependable, compassionate, and empathetic. These qualities will be an asset to you in the medical sciences program at Western University. Jake Picharich. Yes. <laughs> Jake, we appreciate your adaptability, gentleness, and humorous nature. We look forward to seeing what you are going to create in the game design program at Brock University. Tia Ragno. <laughs> Tia. Thank you for the dedication, creativity, determination, and wisdom you shared with us at King's. 
We know you will continue to shine at the University of Guelph in the Sociocultural Anthropology Program. William Raitt. <laughs> William, you made an impact with your strength, confidence, likability, and respectful nature. We are confident these traits will continue to enrich those around you at Wilfrid Laurier University, where you will study business administration. Alex Rikiki. Alex, you shone as a leader with wisdom, empathy, determination, and kindness. We are certain that those you meet in the health sciences program at McMaster will appreciate these qualities. Lauren Riley. Lauren, you blessed us by sharing your sincerity, honesty, resilience, and strength while at King's. We are cheering you on as you move to New Brunswick to pursue post-secondary studies. Clara Rostin. Clara, we are thankful for your generosity, selflessness, insight, and empathy. We are sure that you will continue to demonstrate these qualities in the psychology program at Wilfrid Laurier University. Mia Sakota. Mia, you demonstrated your ambition, positivity, curiosity, and energetic personality while at King's. These attributes will serve you well in the management and organizational studies program at Western University. Andreas Sanchez. Andreas, you were known as a cheerful, friendly, fun, and authentic student while at King's. We wish you well as you travel to the University of Tampa to study business. Matthias Sauerbrei Prado. Matthias, you brought life to King's with your charisma, likability, energy, and insightfulness. You will surely find success using these skills in the Management and Organizational Studies program at Western University. Sirwa Sechiotu. Sirwa, King's was a better place with you as a leader who is versatile, driven, wise, and strong. We pray you will take your gifts to strengthen others in the Commerce program at Queen's University. Carter Shin. Carter, we are thankful for you as a wise, driven, and dedicated leader both in and out of the classroom. We pray for much success as you take this next year to hone your baseball skills before attending a university in the U.S. Abby Singh. Abby, you shared your calm, attentive, and cheerful presence in classrooms and the halls of Kings. We know you are motivated to thrive at Western University in the Management and Organizational Studies program. Lilia Skumatova. Lilia, you were impactful with your warmth, positivity, supportive, and enthusiastic nature. Your love of a challenge will serve you well as you head to the University of Calgary to study computer science. Benjamin Smith. Benjamin, you blessed others at King's by being gentle, perceptive, trustworthy, reliable, and kind. We look forward to how you will use your mathematical gifts in the math program at the University of Waterloo. Thomas Solomon. Thomas, you made a difference at King's as a leader who is compassionate, wise, faithful, and joyful. These traits will surely bless others at Western University, where you will study science. Larissa Sonnenberg. Larissa, you are known as a deep thinker, a dedicated learner, and a diligent student. 
These attributes will be very useful in the Architectural Studies program at the University of Toronto. Oscar St. James Kirsch. Oscar, we are grateful for your thoughtful, reliable, and fun leadership while at King's. We are thrilled you are following your dream to study sport management at Brock University. Ryan Struthers. Ryan, you are always positive, friendly, engaging, and real in your interactions with others. We will cheer you on as you play for the Niagara Ice Dogs in the Ontario Hockey League next year. Tom Sun. Tom, your steady, humble, diligent, confident, and creative spirit have been a joy for us at King's. We look forward to seeing what you will create in the industrial design program at Carleton University. Tegan Taylor. Tegan, thank you for being inclusive, empathetic, creative, and inquisitive while at King's. We hope you will continue to explore these gifts in the arts program at the University of Guelph. Mora Tiab. Mora, you shone as a wise, articulate, helpful, compassionate, and caring leader. We are confident that these qualities will be a blessing to those you meet at Western University, where you will study medical science. Serena Toscani. Serena, you are gentle, kind, insightful, and determined. The Childhood and Youth Studies program at Western University is an excellent avenue for you to share these gifts with others. Maya Tran. Maya, you are known to be a respectful, kind, and compassionate student while at King's. We wish you well as you take a gap year before pursuing your post-secondary studies. Tyler Van Lahr. Tyler, you stood out as an inclusive, engaging, encouraging, and authentic friend to others at King's. We pray you will continue to bless others in the marketing management program at the University of Guelph. Connor Van Slingerland. Connor, you are a determined, considerate, and impassioned individual. We know these skills will be valuable as you pursue the Electromechanical and Automation Maintenance Program at Conestoga College. Jalen Vashi. Jalen, thank you for being practical, confident, forthright, and self-aware as a student. We cheer you on as you continue to grow in the Advertising and Marketing Communications Management Program at St. Lawrence College. Sophie Vatry. <laughs> Sophie, others were blessed by your friendly, bright, positive, joyful, and warm personality. We hope you will continue to shine at the University of Victoria, where you will study biochemistry. Ava Vieira. Yeah. Ava, you are known to be observant, determined, kind-hearted, and respectful. These traits will be very useful in the management, economics, and finance program at the University of Guelph. Tomas Vieira. Tomas, you delighted us with your friendly, kind, optimistic, and genuine care for others. We are confident that these qualities will be a blessing to those you meet in the Urban Planning Program at the University of Waterloo. Lucas Vince. Lucas, you shone as a confident, uplifting, passionate, humble, and caring leader at King's. We can only imagine the many lives you will impact as you move on to study commerce at Queen's University.
Emily Walraven. Yeah! Emily, you reflected Christ's example with your warmth, positivity, faithfulness, and genuine care for others. We know you will continue to shine this light. We know you will continue to shine this light in the kinesiology program at Redeemer University. Nicholas Wong. Nicholas, you are known as a motivated, perceptive, and investigative student, which will serve you very well in the computing program at Queen's University. Truman Wang. Truman, you brought warmth, creativity, insightfulness, and deep thought to your interactions and classes. We know you will continue to explore these gifts in the Visual and Performing Arts Management and Media Program at the University of Toronto, Scarborough. Jamie Wig. Jamie, thank you for being joyful, kind, creative, and persevering. We hope you will have a rich experience taking a gap year to travel before pursuing post-secondary studies. Jax Wilden. Jax, you stood out as a determined, calm, caring, and friendly student at King's. We are excited to see the way these traits will touch others as you enter the Management and Organizational Studies program at Western University. Kira Williams. Kira, you have shared your compassion, warmth, faithfulness, and kindness while at King's. The psychology program at Queen's Uni University is an ideal fit for you to continue to share these gifts with others. Naomi Yap. Naomi, we have known you to be insightful, caring, and serene. We hope you will continue to grow in these character traits in the physical science program at the University of Waterloo. Lauren Yellen. Lauren, you have been described as strong, entrepreneurial, inquisitive, and creative. These traits will surely help you in the business marketing program at Dalhousie University. Matthew Zaki. Matthew, thank you for being determined, faithful, and insightful in your classes at King's. These skills will be beneficial as you study science with a conditional acceptance to pharmacy at the University of Waterloo. Aya Zankar. Aya, we are grateful for your friendly, responsible, and optimistic approach to your interactions. We wish you well as you attend McMaster University to study math and statistics. Felix Zhao. Felix, you made a difference at King's with your artistic, joyful, creative, and enthusiastic presence. Your gifts will continue to be highlighted in the Visual and Performing Arts Management and Media Program at the University of Toronto, Scarborough. Kennedy Ryan Zoller. Kennedy Ryan, you are known for your strength, courage, positivity, and friendly demeanor. We wish you well as you take a gap year before moving to the U.S. to pursue post-secondary studies. I'd like to ask everyone here now to please join me in congratulating the King's Christian Collegiate Class of 2022.
Graduates, we are proud of each one of you and the significant accomplishment that today celebrates. As you cross the stage, several individual awards were announced and we would like to take the time to acknowledge these recipients once more. Kings is now pleased to pr now present our Biblical Character Awards to 10 students who have impacted us in special ways. These awards are distinct and remind us that we play a part in God's narrative, and they connect us to the founding vision of Kings Christian Collegiate. The Biblical Character Awards are significant as they connect strongly to the origins and foundation of faith of King's Christian Collegiate. These awards remind us of stories of faith from the biblical narrative and shine light on faithful attributes shown through our students. We thank these students for leading from their unique strengths and making a positive impact at King's. Soli Deo Gloria, to God alone be the glory. The recipient of this year's Esther Award for Standing Up for Faith is Mora Tiab. Mora, you are a loving and generous student who seeks to look after the needs of others. You carry yourself with integrity and are intentional with your uplifting words and actions. Your strong and steady presence in classes, spark, music, and prefects were a gift to those around you. The recipient of this year's Deborah Award for Taking Action and Leadership is Alex Rikiki. Alex, as a grade nine student, you initiated the dance team, which you led for four years with incredible diligence, grace, and talent. You have been open about placing your faith in God and have brought positivity and insight to your ambassador, prefect, and student council roles. The recipient of this year's Lydia Award for encouragement and support is Emma Mawad. Emma, you care deeply and truly desire to help and support others which you demonstrated as a leader at I Am Second and as a peer coach. You are a loyal friend who faithfully encourages your classmates with your positivity and gentle nature. The recipient of this year's Abigail Award for service and wisdom is Gabby Masenji. Gabby, your curious, perceptive, accepting nature puts others at ease and strengthens connections. As a prefect and valuable role model and mentor on the wrestling team, you serve with intention. Your desire to help others grow, your lens for justice, and your loving presence point others to Jesus. The recipient of this year's Priscilla Award for Community Building is Kira Mathias. Kira, you are an optimistic, reliable, and intuitive leader. As a member of MUN, an ambassador, and a section leader in concert band, you brought students from different grades together toward a common goal. You are celebrated for your ability to have a vision and see it through to completion blessing others with your time and dedication. 
The recipient of this year's Stephen Award for standing up for faith is David Assad. David, you exude godly character and are unwavering in your faith and commitment. You have intentionally come alongside people as a prefect and a peer coach and guided others to God, allowing them to see the beauty in your faith and the world around them. The recipient of this year's Nehemiah Award for taking action and leadership is Thomas Solomon. Thomas, your authenticity, kindness, and faith convictions make a wonderful impact. In your role as a leader for Relay for Life and as a prefect, you notice needs and competently take action to address them. A deep thinker, gifted speaker, and gentle soul. Your caring influence has been valued by students and staff alike. The recipient of this year's Barnabas Award for encouragement and support is Evan Burke. Evan, you are humble and heartfelt in your interactions with students and teachers. You are appreciated for your good-natured presence and thoughtfulness. You joyfully enfolded and encouraged your teammates on the volleyball team, and you emanate respect and integrity. The recipient of this year's Paul Award for service and wisdom is Ama Aguilo. Ama, you are someone who wants to change the world, and you made strides through cultural connections, ambassadors, and as a prefect. You make the most of learning opportunities and serve with generosity, confidence, skill, and passion. The recipient of this year's Timothy Award for community building is Noah Best. Noah, you have a kind word for everyone you meet and are instrumental in creating a place for others to belong. As a section leader in band, you exhibit a gentle and approachable presence. Your faith is evident in your positivity and caring personality. Congratulations to these Biblical Character Award recipients. You've each blessed us in a special way, and we are grateful. Please join me in congratulating the Biblical Character Award recipients. The King's Legacy Award is given to a student who has exhibited dedication to the academic program, met challenges with perseverance, displayed generosity in helping others, and demonstrated a desire to be of service to Christ the King. This year's recipient carried herself with strength and grace in the midst of challenging circumstances. Relying on Christ, this student reached out to those around her and allowed others to lean on her and to move forward with hope. Ms. Mananen is pleased to present this award to Lauren Riley. <laughs> The highest academic honor that a student can achieve is the prestigious Governor General's Academic Medal. This medal is given to the student with the highest overall average in his or her grade 11 and 12 courses. It represents not only a student's ability, but their diligence in their studies over time. I'm very honored to present this medal to Carter Shin. <laughs> I would like 
I would now like to invite the valedictorian of 2022, Sirwa Sechi Otu, to come to the stage. <laughs> Nominated and selected by the graduating class, it is a wonderful honor to be the valedictorian. This chosen student is characterized by strong academics, significant extracurricular and community involvement, and effective leadership, and contributions to the positive atmosphere of the school. Please join me in welcoming the valedictorian of 2022, Sirwa Sechi Otu. As we celebrate this momentous occasion of graduation, I'm sure we're all sitting here today thinking, finally. Us students are sitting in our seats going, I'm graduating, finally. Our parents are sitting there choking back tears while pondering the last 18 years of tantrums, triumphs, and fatigue, going, wow, they're graduating? <sighs> finally. And then there are our incredible teachers and staff sitting here reminiscing of all our amazing memories we've made over the past four years and thinking they deserve this. They're finally graduating. But regardless of your thoughts relating to how we've arrived so courageously to this day, we've nonetheless made it to King's Christian Collegiate's Class of 2022's graduation ceremony. And for that, I congratulate us all. <laughs> Many years ago, humans discovered that when they strike together flint and steel, sparks are created. They also discovered that these sparks, if tended to and cared for with fuel and oxygen, would amount to a glowing, beautiful fire. However, they noticed that if these sparks were left in inadequate conditions, like damp shelters and in isolation from other sparks, a fire would not ignite. When the majority of this class first met four years ago in September of 2018, we were merely individual sparks. Full of energy and glowing with talent, we embarked on our high school careers, ready to conquer a new chapter of our lives. Starting off our mornings with gym and Bible classes, we ventured into grade nine, figuring out who we'd sit with at lunch and joining our first big kid sports teams and clubs. We experienced King's traditions such as gym riots, semi-formals, pink days, and of course, full school in-person chapels. And as each month of school passed by, we steadily began to find one another and come together. Grade 10 came along and we seemed to have found a rhythm which helped us to merge into one singular flame. We'd accepted our new environment and conceived a sense of longing within it. We figured out how to push ourselves, motivate each other, and just be exactly who God made us to be. From our grade 10 year onwards, it is no secret that this class has endured a rather different and difficult high school experience. Now, I could stand up here and talk about that experience and about just how amazing the graduating students are for persevering through it. I could talk about how together we have overcome so much in the face of adversity, only having one real year of high school and all. I could, talk, I could spend the remaining 168 seconds regurgitating everything we've all already heard throughout the past three years. I could, and maybe I should, but I will not. I won't because these past three years were full of hard work to get to this exact moment. And whether that hard work was done alone at home during lockdowns or together in person school, the facts remain the same. And the fact is, the class of 2022 is so much more than missed opportunities. We are a class that has disavowed letting a virus dictate who we are and who we will become. We are a class that was placed into a school, an environment full of loving and caring teachers who looked after our minds, bodies, and souls, that fed us the right conditions to turn us from individual sparks to one beautiful, defying fire that now burns stronger together. When I look out into the rows filled with my classmates, an abundance of God-given talents and incredible work ethics shine back at me. I see future teachers, doctors, engineers, researchers, lawyers, mechanics, diplomats, artists, CEOs, and maybe even prime ministers. But most importantly, I see people who are entering the world as vessels of God's love. People who are so keen to help and to serve, to love their neighbors as themselves so wholeheartedly and with unmatched humility. 
I see a class that is resilient, bright, unique, creative, talented, chaotic, and a family. Over the past four years, the graduates before you have grown immensely to get, as individuals and also as a community. Growing together is so much more important because we know from history that one individual can ignite change, but it takes multiple individuals to support them and advocate with them to create the change. Jesus had his 12 disciples to spread the good news. Martin Luther King had hundreds of other civil rights activists to further the fight for justice. Inspired by her story and advocacy, Phyllis Websat has masses of people focusing on the vitality of remembering and making reparations for the indigenous people and First Nations people of, North, of Canada. Ruth Bader Ginsburg has thousands of women and men alike whom she inspired to remove judgment on the basis of sex. And now we have each other. I would be remiss to conclude my remarks without expressing my extreme gratitude towards the people who made it possible for us to be here today the school, our parents, and our loving families. King's Christian Collegiate is unlike any other secondary school. Here we are challenged in more ways than just difficult classes and projects. We are challenged to rumble with our faith, our relationships, and our personalities. We are prodded to be the very best versions of ourselves and never once without support and encouragement. The most unique aspect of this community is that the students get to, find, get to define what success looks like for themselves and the faculty do their absolute best to help us achieve those visions. Whether that be tutoring at lunch or after school, extra prep materials for evaluations, or lunch chats to just talk through what's going on, they're always there. We all thank you for your hard work and dedication to us and every other student at King's. I'm sure all the graduates can agree with me with this remark when I say our guardians, parents, siblings, cousins, and chosen family have truly helped guide us over our high school journeys, and we are all blessed and grateful for the role they have played in our lives. And now to my fellow classmates. I stand before you today as your class valedictorian and student council chair, but most importantly, I hope, as your friend. In September, like many of you, I will be starting at my post-secondary journey at Queen's University. I hope to learn more about economic disparities in emerging countries, dig deeper into what equal pay looks like for the millions of women being undermined around the world, and I hope to be the best student, daughter, sister, friend, and leader that I can be. What about you? Where will you be this coming fall, and what will you do? Who will you ignite? What fire will you start with your spark? King's Christian Collegiate Class of 2022, this is it. This is what we have all been waiting for. The moment where we let go of our mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles, guardians and caregivers, warm and tender hands, and go. Go with fire. Fire to love, fire to serve, fire to worship, Fire to learn, fire to lead, and of course, fire to change, because that is who we are. We are next, and this is our time. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you. Kings was just the perfect environment to like grow as a person, like as a whole. Like, all the teachers were amazing, so thank you. In a social aspect, the school wasn't isolated in a way that I thought it would be coming to private school. Like the people, the community, everybody, like it was always really fun. And I feel like I grew a lot socially here. I really appreciated this community.
you feel at home and I think my friends brought me a lot of joy and my teachers, you guys did a great job. Just shout out to every teacher that I've had and who knows me, I know them. You guys have done a lot for everyone and I just appreciate you all, thank you so much. I'm really thankful for all the friends that I've made in the past four years. You guys have really helped me through thick and thin and have really uh, brought us all together as a community. I think there's a group for everyone here and where at other schools you might get kind of lost in the mix here, you feel valued and are appreciated. <laughs> I think the biggest thing was just creating friendships that I think I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. I learned that probably doing your homework is a good idea, especially like instead of going to the gym, maybe take like an hour and a half and actually do some homework. Because it turns out if you actually study, you'll do good on a test. So the biggest thing that I have learned at King's would be that God is actually working for the people around me. After my grade 12 year, coming to I'm Second, just really surrounding myself with a great group of people, I realized that I feel that sense of community and I feel all this unconditional love and support because of the people that he has placed in my life. And I know, I know he's done that for a reason and the group of people that I have right now are the people that have encouraged me to come to I'm Second and the teachers that have encouraged me to seek a deeper relationship with God and with others and with myself. And I just know that none of that would have been possible if I didn't have God working through these people around me. I'm definitely gonna miss like the sense of community at Kings. I feel like there were a lot of opportunities to be involved. I just love like talking to you guys, you know? I'm gonna miss that. That's what I'm gonna miss. The small community where like everybody's so close. I'm gonna miss it. Coming to Kings in grade nine, I feel like I came in with a lot of expectations of myself and like uh, an impression that I needed to impress everyone and make everyone happy. But I think Kings really showed me that um, no matter what I'm going through and who I'm with, I can always be happy as long as I just be myself. I know it sounds cheesy, but um, I just surrounded myself with good people and here I am graduating and uh, it feels good. So I just want to say thank you to the Kings community. Going into Kings, I was actually an atheist, and uh, I didn't, I kind of had the mindset of like, the Bible can, you can get moral stories from, but like, I'm just gonna go into my Bible class and try, try to enjoy myself, but I don't really believe in anything. But just seeing how much Mr. Walraven like invested himself into the book and through his energetic and fun lessons, it made me want to look yawn outside of school and kind of like, oh, what, what makes him love this? What makes him love this so much? Through that and through my own like studies, I've actually come from an atheist to someone who actually a devout Christian. And so through Mr. Walraven and everyone else and through uh, such a great community, I've gone from an atheist to a Christian and uh, I'm very grateful for that. Coming back to school and seeing honestly everybody every day just put things into perspective and having that sense of community is something I'll really miss. Going into university, it's a bigger crowd. You're not going to know everyone. So um, yeah, I'll just miss all those relationships I made and each other, obviously. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I would say that I'm grateful for all the beautiful friendships that I've acquired, especially my friends now, um, in unexpected places that I didn't expect. Um, but I'm just grateful for all the connections um, that I was able to make and all the people I have surrounding me now. Being involved in the school band and performing what you've worked so hard to produce the final product and then also sharing the joy that's involved in it. I'm gonna miss all your beautiful faces out there. Love seeing that. One thing that brought me joy here is when you walk around the halls and everyone's smiling and happy. And I'm missing the, the big smiles in the hall. 
Love the big smiles. We created a lot of memories here. But I think that um, we were super successful and had shared a lot of great times together. So I'm super thankful for that. And that definitely stood out for me. Every class I've been here at King's, all the teachers are so passionate and love what they do. And it's such a joy to be in the classes. So I just want to give that shout out to all the teachers for that. From where I was in grade nine, you all have really helped push me academically, but also just to be the best person I can be. This class really, you know, took the brunt of COVID through high school. And now like the past little while you've come out and you're smiling, you're happy, and you're showing us what really a resilience is and how to really go through this time and be grateful and happy even in the light of such a really tough time. I'm also really grateful for and happy that we love to teach and without you guys, we can't do what we love. Whether it's teaching, just life chats, getting after you for homework and stuff, we love it all, so uh, thank you. Something that surprised me at my time at King's was definitely like how like open people are. It's just a really good place for you to grow and learn. I'm also gonna miss all my friends and seeing the same faces every single day. It's gonna be weird next year not knowing anyone and not seeing your faces. Coming into King's, I put my worth into stuff that really shouldn't have mattered that much. I put my worth into my marks, my academic achievement, the awards that I won, but that changed. I realized that there's more to life than just that. I realized that the things that matter are things like a connection to God, a connection to my peers, my family, and King's really made the difference there. And I've learned a lot from that, and that's something that I wish to take into university with me. You know, we probably say every class is special, but this class is special. Yeah. And uh, you probably haven't heard too much about pandemic and stuff because pandemics don't define us. There's hard stuff in life. Resilience, grit, loving each other, caring for each other. This graduating class has lived through a bit of a fog in some of their high school career, much as we all have. And for them to get together as they have, uh, by the time they're in grade 12, it's almost like they've done it in half the time that everybody else has done it by the time they get to grade 12. And so when I say congratulations again to our graduating class of 2022, I think that deserves a standing ovation. So congratulations again, graduating class of 2022, and let's stand up and give them a round of applause. Okay, that's enough applause. We don't want it going to their heads or anything like that. So it's all good. Uh, congratulations. You are a special, special class. And thank you for who you have been uh, for King's Christian Collegiate. You have, uh, a lot of you have thanked staff, but I think uh, we thank you as well. The graduates and staff will recess uh, out of the theater to your, to, uh, to your left after these final words, so to your left is my right, so I guess we're going out that way. Uh, and we invite all of you to exit any door once the graduates and the staff have left the theater and then stay uh, to greet the graduating class and have some refreshments with us. Uh, I now invite Mrs. Natasha Rubin Copeland to come pray a blessing to conclude today's ceremony. Well, congratulations, King's uh, class of 2022. As a parent, I know your parents are overjoyed and very proud of you, and you should be very proud of yourself. My heart is full. I almost want to cry. So I'm going to say a quick blessing over you, and I'm going to pray over you, uh, just that God would just be with you wherever you go. You are all very blessed and privileged to have successfully completed another step in your education journey. 
May you choose to live in gratitude for the opportunities and endless possibilities that surround you. You have everything you need inside of you to achieve your, dream, to achieve your dreams. I pray that we will choose to dig deep and tap into the gifts, determination, grit, and commitment God has placed inside of you. Let's pray together. Lord, I pray for the graduates of King's 2022. I thank you for bringing them to this moment. I thank you for your hand of blessing, favor, protection upon their lives over the past few years. Thank you for the teachers and the staff who have planted many seeds into their lives. I pray that these seeds which have been planted will gain deep roots, grow, flourish, and bring, much, bring forth much fruit that will leave a lasting legacy that will impact and change and enrich lives in our community, our nation, and our world. Thank you for the families and the loved ones who have committed to leading and inspiring these graduates into a life of excellence. Thank you for the lifelong friendships that have started here. I pray for each graduate, Lord. I pray that uh, as you know them, you've designed them and you've created them in your image. You've destined them for a life to live on purpose using their unique gifts, talents that you have placed in them for their special assignment in this world. I pray that they will seek, continually seek to discover their purposes as they continue through their academic work and relationships. I pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, I'd like to uh, share a blessing that the Lord uh, spoke to his people from Numbers 24, verses 20, Numbers 6, 24 to 26. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you. May the Lord be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.